Hi everyone and welcome to Academic Coordinates. Today we are joined by Ria, who is a BX student who will be telling us more about her journey at Stellenbosch University. Ria, how are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm well, thank you. So can you tell us more about just where you're from, um, how you grew up, and just more about who you are? Okay, my name is Ria Mukita Mbuchebura and I grew up in a small village in Limbobo called Kampashele Sleeting. I went to some high school there called Kharatlou and yeah, I have two siblings and they're boys and I'm the only girl. So. Wow, so going into just your school life, um, just that shift from grade 9 to grade 10, how did you choose subjects? I actually fell in love with accounting. It was EMS in grade 9, so I fell in love with it because of the teacher. And I really didn't like physics because I was scared of the teacher in grade 10. So I decided that I was going to go into um, the accounting stream. And then that's when I kind of figured what I wanted to do with my life. Wow, and then just in your high school um, life, what co-curricular activities were you involved in? I was part of this thing called the Young Entrepreneurs. Um, it, it was, um, what do we call this? It was like a, a group of uh, students and learners. It was a group of learners. Um, we used to do presentations, like business presentations, even though the first time we lost in a competition, but the second time we got on, number two. So it was, I, was, I was ahead of that. Wow, that sounds really interesting. Right. And what can you tell us just about what kind of student you were in high school? I can't say I was a nerd, but I was like along those lines. I was, I was very um, shy. I was, yeah, I was more into academics than anything else. So that was just And in your high school life, what did you envision yourself doing when you were done with school? I, oh, I would say I wanted to be, I always wanted to be a CA, but I wanted to have my own firm after that, like own my own firm, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Now, what went into that decision of choosing to come to Stellenbosch University? Oh, well, my best friend. That's it, nothing else. Like, I like Stellenbosch because it's a quiet town. And I also didn't want to go to Jumbo. So I decided, and then the bursary thing also added something, and I was like, yay, see me there. <laughs> wow, well, and then just what can you tell us about that shift from high school to university? It was a big jump. Okay, I. I thought uni was going to be a little bit better than high school. You know, the freedom, um, being in far from the parents, finally getting an allowance, <laughs> you know, those kind of things. I thought it was going to be fine. And then I got here and I realized that university is much harder than high school. And that jump is just, yeah, it's, it's hard. But I kind of coped because I found the people. Yeah. What are the things that you found the most difficult about that jump specifically? Being far from my family and only being able to see them twice a year. And then also um, having no one in my corner here because I'm used to having people around me, you know, teachers, um, family, but I got here and I was alone. And then I had to start learning how to cope by myself. I had to learn how to be independent. Yeah. And then what made you choose the course that you chose and stick with it? I think it's the passion and the love for it. Because if it wasn't that, I'd be in another department right now, faculty, I mean, yeah. Oh, wow. And then what are some misconceptions that people have about accounting? People think accounting is all about numbers. And they think it's hard. Um, it's not hard. It's just um, you need to be able to understand what's going on and you just, it's not hard. It's just, it's just like any other cause. As long as you love it, you're going to be able to do it. Wow. And then um, how can you describe accounting in simple words? 
I feel like for me, um, for me specifically, it's it's something that I can change like the world with. It's like it's that one thing that I love the most in the whole world. You okay, know, not really, but, you know, I still have the whole family business, but I mean, like every above everything else. I think um, accounting. Accounting is everything, bruh. You just need accounting everywhere. Like, I, I'm in hell with that thing. That's why, that's why I'm like this. Yeah, and then what can you tell us about the content in accounting? If you were to tell someone who didn't know um, what an accounting course consists of, um, how would you explain it to them? How do you say? Oh, um, you can start with, okay, so we have, we have our four modules. Our four core modules that's um, financial accounting, we have taxation, we have management accounting, and we have auditing. All of them, they need your attention, they need, um, you need to study, you know, those kind of things, you know how you have to do it. But for accounting, for financial accounting, you have to be able to, it's not, it's not all about numbers. It's about you being able to understand what's going on. Like you can interpret things. You have to. Um, we have standards that we use, so you have to be able to apply those standards to a certain amount. Wow! And then, um, just into you being in university and facing difficult times. What was your go-to thing to do? What was your um, coping mechanism? I went to church most of the times and that really helped because I'll just tend to God whenever I feel down, like whenever I, I think things are not working out, whenever I realize that I'm actually getting lost. So I'll just tend to God and you know, as always, he provides. Yeah. And what kind of person um do you think is best suited to follow through with the accounting route? everyone <laughs> as long as you have the love and passion for it you can go for it wow and then okay so what are some of your regrets from just your t- your time as a student procrastinating that was the worst and also um not having fun okay i've always been that one person who thought that if you're a student, you have to be a student. You don't have to go out, you don't have to do that, you don't have to do that. And I really regret that. Like, I just, like, study, just have, know your priorities, okay? That will be fine. If you know what, what your priorities are, um, you can have a social life. I didn't have a social life, so that was, yeah, my only regret, actually. Um, We're almost at the end, so um, what advice would you give to people who want to pursue accounting? I'm just going to tell you that you just need to follow your heart. If you really want to do it because you love it, just don't do it because someone else is forcing you. Just do it because you love it. Because the minute you're in here, your passion and your love is the only thing that's going to get you through because the minute you start losing interest, that's when everything goes wrong. And looking into um, where we're going towards the fourth industrial revolution, what do you think is the role of accounting and accountants? I don't think um, the fourth industrial revolution is going to affect us. It will, but like it cannot replace an accountant. There is no way that it's going to replace an accounting. What are some of the things in accounting that have been automated um, so at the stage? Yes. We have um, an accounting system called um, Pestle. So, so far, like people don't have to do um, manual numbers, you know, everything. You just input them and then it, it creates everything. But at the same time, it cannot perform the work that it, an accountant can do. Wow. And then is there 
any advice that you'd like to give to the youth in general, the youth of South Africa and the youth globally? You should always follow your dreams. Everybody has a talent. It doesn't matter if it's um, school related, if it's not school related, it doesn't matter. You just have to follow your dreams. And always, always, so, like, just don't give up, no matter the circumstances. Thank you so much. Those are such wise words. Thank you for joining me today. And I'm sure that um, many people will learn a lot from learning from you and your experience. Thank you everyone.